Hey guys, welcome to our tutorial on how to use the Macit framework in Swift. So we'll be creating an application to get the current user's location, then we'll display that on a map view, and we'll add an annotation at that point so we can visually see exactly where the user is located at. Then we'll convert the user's coordinate into a human readable address. So let's start off with a single view application. I'll call mine's user location. Let's go to the main view storyboard and we'll add a built in view that Apple provides us called MK Map View to be able to easily display our map. Next, we also want to add a button to go to the user's location. And last but not least, we want to add a label to display the user's address. Make sure to set the character, the lines to two and reduce the font size and change the line break to character wrap. This is so that if the address is too long, it'll overflow to the next line. Next, hold command A to select everything on the screen and reset to suggested constraints. This will add auto layout to everything over here so that it displays correctly on all views. Now we can connect these UI components to the view controller. Control click will add the map view first. Next we'll add the user's location button as an action. and we'll add the label as an address. For this to work, we also need to import the MapKit framework. Next, we need to create a location manager to be able to get the current location of the user, which is of type location manager. And to be able to control this, we need to set the delegate over here. Next, we can instantiate the location manager. And we can set the delegate to itself. So we can manage it over here. We also need to ask permission from the user to get their location. And so we'll create a helper function to do that. Location manager comes built in with a function to prompt the user to use their location. In this case, we'll use the request when in use authorization. So it's only when they're using the app, we can access the application. That's all we need for now. And we can check if we're given permission using a built in function called location services enabled. And once we have that, we can start updating the location. From iOS 9 and going forward, you also have to create a reason why you need to use the user's location and type that in. So go to info.plist file, type in privacy, and we'll do the when in usage, and we give a description to display the user's location. You can type in where you want and this will be displayed to the user. And we can call our enable location function in the viewed load method. Next, we need to update the user's location and we can do that by first, by implementing a function in the CL location manager called did update locations. This will give us an array of locations and we want the first location. Then we can update the current location to location. We can also create a current location global variable to be able to access it at any time.
now that we have the current user's location, we can get the center of our map view, which in this case will be the current location. Then we can get the region, which is a MK coordinate region, with center being the user's center. And then an MK coordinate span of 0 0.01 on each side to see, show the range of the map. Now that we have the region, we can set the map view to this region using the built-in set region function and we'll animate it so it looks good. Now we can test this. I forgot a closing bracket. Now we can test this to, by clicking the button, button, which in this case is user location, and it should zoom in to the user's location and we can see that on the map. So I'm prompted to give access to location with the same string we typed in before to display the user location, I'll allow it. We go to user location and it zooms in. However, we want to see exactly where the user is located at and we'll add an annotation for that. We'll use the built-in MK point annotation. So we'll create an annotation. We'll set the annotation's coordinate to the user's coordinate, which is the current location. And we'll set the title to user location. And now we also need to add this annotation to the map view. Now we'll build it and an annotation should be added at the point the user is located at. As you can see, sorry for the slow load, but an annotation has added at the point the user's location is. The last and final thing we want to do is update the address of the user, and we can do that using the built-in CL geocoder class. It comes with a built-in function called reverse geocode location and we give it a location which in this case will be the current location and a completion handler to give us the place mark of the user I'll check if error equals nil then we have the data once we have that we can get the address list using we'll access the first place mark and it comes with the built-in address dictionary of type any hash block any but we want specifically the formatted address lines once we have that we want to get the origin address and we can do that by con by joining all these pieces of the address which is state, zip code, city using a comma and a separator
the issue we're having here is that this needs to be an array of strings. All right, now that we have the address, we can set our labels text to the origin address and we'll test it. Now everything should work fine. We'll have a point annotation and it should also update the user's location with a human readable address, which in this case is EL Singundo Boulevard, El Singundo, California, United States. Thank you for watching this tutorial and make sure to tune in next time. Have a good day, like, subscribe, and comment.